Hey gang. Yes, it's time to do a little video. If I can just adjust the camera, forcefully crushing it down into place. <laughs> All righty. Welcome back to Big Board. It's the uh, the L H Y, the last hundred yards from GMT Games. It's a I think it's a first time design by Mike Denson, and uh, uh, my understanding is that he is a mature gentleman who understands military conflict and has built something pretty close to being unique. Uh, I, I'm not going to say that I love it yet <clears throat> because we're we're four turns into the first scenario. I haven't used mortars or tanks or anything yet. So I just thought it'd be fun just to talk a little bit now, now that I understand the importance of sequence of play and not skipping things when you're playing solo, uh, that uh, how, how, this kind of, how this kind of works in my mind anyway. It may not be actually how it works, but I thought I'd uh, share a little bit with you anyway, just so you get a feel for it. Uh, you know, it was $37 uh, on the pre-order, which to my mind is pretty cheap. Uh, and impressive. I, I don't know. I think there's a dozen scenarios in it. There's a lot of counters. There's a lot of information counters and stuff, but you don't really use all of them all at once. So that's kind of cool. I've got the control markers out because, hey, makes taking the pictures easier and helps me remind, remind myself of writing things up. So let's walk through a little bit of a turn uh, to the extent that I can do it without confusing you any further. Initially, you roll for initiative, and whoever wins is the active player, and whoever loses the initiative die roll is the reaction player, and you activate by platoon. <clears throat> now, you can activate multiple platoons together if you, you know, roll some sort of coordination roll and stuff like that. I've been doing things uh, one at a time, one platoon at a time, just so I can you know, get the feel for it and all that sort of good stuff. So, first things first. Uh, we we moved uh, this unit from here to here. These guys were here, I guess, and went one, two, three, and moved over to here. And then we uh, and looked at the other formation, the other platoon over here. And these guys didn't do anything because they were looking for an opportunity to to react to what the Americans might do. But they did move one squad, one, two, three, out to here. And then they conducted a recovery action for this guy and a recovery action for this guy because they were both suppressed or, or disrupted, as they call it. And, you know, disrupted is like being shaken in lock and load. Uh, whatever it is in ASL, I forget the terminology, broken in, uh, in Combat Commander and whatever other games you might play. It has very specific effects, and we don't need to get into that right now, but suffice to say that they were disrupted, and you're not in good shape if you're disrupted. Now, so there you go. Uh, now, uh, I just realized something. I did forget to do one thing. I'm going to grab a die. I'm going to roll it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that's going to put everything on hold. I rolled a 10 for recovery. I have to do, I believe I have to do this recovery action for this guy because he's disrupted and he's the reacting player. It's one of those mandatory things you have to do. And rolling a 10, usually you've got to roll underneath your number here. Uh, but when you roll a 10, <laughs> uh, you become, you'd become a hero. You become heroic. And you do stupid things. So we're going to just, uh, we're just going to leave, assume that didn't happen for the moment and set it aside. And we're going to look at what happened. So these guys moved. Uh, these guys decided that they would fire at these guys. And uh, these guys were recovered. Oh, that's right. They, they were disrupted. They moved. And these guys moved. And I think that was about it. I think that was everything that happened because these other guys recovered. So, uh, oh, that's right. And so, so these guys, these chaps, uh, then, was, so these folks all finished moving and then we go to reaction phase <clears throat> and the Americans go, oh, well, it's my reaction phase. Excellent. I am going to, uh, I am going to use this squad 
to fire at this guy. So that's what he did. And these guys, so then that was all their reaction. Now, look, obviously, the, the one reaction they didn't do was this, uh, which just to complicate matters, this squad and leader were here. Were here. They, they reaction moved one, two, two movement points, boom, into here. Uh, now, they can do that because of what the rules say. I can't find the rule right now, and I don't want to waste time flicking pages, but basically, it's if you've got someone in the line of sight or something equivalent or you're being shot at or whatever the case may be, you can react. I think that's what the rule is. So don't take me, don't take that for granted. I'm more interested in showing you the combat resolution than anything else. So uh, let's see. These fellas said they were going to fire at these guys. So we put a marker on here. And that nets out to being, uh, they've got a firepower of one. They These guys were in the woods, so they get a minus one. They're all uh, within range, no penal range penalties. But you know what? They might get a... They, they moved, they moved, they moved, they moved. Hang on a second. It's not going to make a difference to the result, but they moved and it would have been... I've just got to keep track of it for my AAR. Where is the chart? Dang it. Uh, yeah, mark, target maneuvered within two hexes. So that's... That would, that would have been a one. So let me just make a note of that. Note one, not zero. All right. <clears throat> so the, uh, they declared this fire. These guys declared this fire and got a one on that. Uh, this is a small arms DRM. And what that does, why, why that's a one is because we have one firepower or one small arms value. And they are within two, so they get uh, one for that. And uh, they lose one for some reason. Why do they lose one? Oh, this was a two. That's right. Oh, that's right. It's a it's a two for the moment, right? It's a two for the moment. And what ends up happening is uh, that's their their reaction. Rolfi down here and his squad, they go, oh look, these guys are firing these guys. We want to stop that. We're going to suppress them. So they're going to fire at these dudes. Uh, and then it ends up being a minus one because it's one firepower, minus one for the building, and uh, that makes it zero, and then minus one for range. And so they're at a uh, at a zero, at a minus one. I'm really doing a crappy job with this, aren't I? But never mind. Uh, now that, now because when we go to, so, so that's it. And let's, everyone's done all the reactions and neither side wants to do any more reacting because they don't have any more guys to do reacting with. Uh, everyone's had their little bit of fun. Now we go to the fire resolution phase and we look at this and we go, yeah, okay. This guy is firing at this guy, but he's being fired upon. That's going to change his, uh, combat value because, you know, he's ducking a weaving while he's trying to shoot. So he's going to lose one for that. So it becomes a one. It's a D10 based combat resolution. We uh, rolled well there. We rolled a nine there. Uh, so he's disrupted. And let me see. It's equal to, it's equal to or greater than 10. So the extra one there might have made that casualty. So I'm going to put a little block on that. I need to just double check that later on. I'll make sure that we. That was, was that one or zero? It was, that's right, I said it was one. And uh, here we missed because I rolled a four. And then here, these guys fired. And, oh, sorry, these guys fired at these guys and rolled a five. And these guys rolled a four. But we now have to resolve this little issue here. And I think uh, being heroic is a bad thing. Uh, so it, uh, it can make you do silly things. But I'm not going to get into that at the moment. I'm going to, I'm going to go read those rules, and we'll come back and we'll do a separate video on whatever heroic actions the uh, second platoon's third squad decides to do. But that, in essence, is a uh, is a a turn. Uh, we would do assault resolution after that. We would do mortifier adjustment after that. We would do the time lapse after that and then the cleanup phase and that's a turn 
Uh, so the, the die roll for that uh, time elapse, we elapsed another four minutes. So we've had 20 minutes of game time so far. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you for the moment. I'm going to go deal with my heroic action and we'll uh, come back to you and talk to you in a little while. All the best.